Hey, hi, Essence Babes. I'm Flani Lyon, and you are on the Cosmetics YouTube page. Today, I'm going to show you how to get the Keen Girl Aesthetic makeup look, even if you have acne prone skin like me. So if your skin needs a little bit of extra love, skin prep is very important. So I'm going to go straight in with my primer. This is the Hello Good Stuff Primer and it has blueberry and squalene in there. So all the hydration, all the plumpness is going to come through. So let me apply that. Preparing my skin is really important. It's really going to help the makeup sit on my skin and also last a little bit longer. Next up, I'm going in with the Hello Good Stuff Eye Serum. This is going to help, especially for those of us who's, who are not morning people. I'm, for one, I'm not that person. I'm a late sleeper. So this is really going to help just to de-puff those under eyes. This product is really cooling for your eyes. You can feel it right away. Next up, I'm going in with the Hello Good Stuff Happy Bliss Face Spray. This is just to give a little bit of extra zoosh and just to mist up the face so that we're ready for makeup. Oh, I love this part and it smells amazing. It smells really fruity and fresh. Just all the summer vibes. So next up, I'm going in with the Essence Redness Reducer Primer. With my skin, I do struggle with a lot of redness caused by scarring, like acne scarring. So this is really going to help just to minimize that. So let's get straight in with this one. I like to put it all over my skin, even on my chin area and my neck area. Because when we apply makeup, we apply makeup everywhere. So really try and remember to get it everywhere on your skin for that full coverage makeup prep as well as makeup. So first things first, I'm going in with my foundation. I'm going in with a pretty natural foundation. I don't like foundations that's too heavy on my skin. I, would, I like to have my skin breathe a little bit and this one is perfect. An application hack that changed my makeup game forever was applying fixing spray to my blending sponge. So I don't want to add too much, I'd rather just ap apply and build it up further. So I'm just going to tap on the sides and then on top as well. And then you can always build it up as you go along. With the Clean Girl Makeup Aesthetic, you don't want to over apply product, so make sure to use minimal product to get the best results. So I'm just going in with a little bit of extra foundation just in my problematic areas. So just on my cheek, down, on my chin, and then also on the other side, just to give that extra layer. Next, I'm going to be laying my brows. Yes, I said laying. You don't just have to lay your edges. You can also lay your brows. So I'm going to use this brow styling set from Essence. I really like to use a spoolie just to get all of those hairs brushed up and lay down. So all I'm doing is just brushing it upwards and then just laying it down. Laying down your brows before applying any other brow product really makes it easy as well. You can really see how your brows fall and the shape of it. So I highly, highly recommend this. So now I'm going to fill in my brows just a little bit though with the Wow What A Brow pen. It is going to give me just a little bit of filling in my three brows as I just showed you all. So yeah. So I'm going to use the other side of the brow pen just to brush it out and to give that even brow color. Then next I have a little bit of a hack for you all. So we all love a cream blush but why not have a lipstick and a cream blush in one. It gives that cream blush feel but it's also right in your handbag, two in one. So all I'm going to do is just add a little bit to my cheeks. 
just the, the middle of them and then I'm going to be using my fingertips and then just dab it out just dab it out it's gonna give you that little bit of that blush look but without being too harsh sometimes powders just fall off or it just sort of fades away but I really like the cream blush and it also gives you that extra bit of glow where blushes can sometimes do the opposite and create a mattifying look and I love myself a bit of a glow and a bit of a shine. Next I'm going to go in with my bronzer. I'm going in with this matte bronzing powder and I'm also going in with a sharp pointed brush just to help you to apply the product upwards. So I don't do too much but I want to see a bit of dimension. So all I do is I'm going in with the bronzer from the top of my ear, the top side downwards. So I never used to know where to apply this. So that's sort of just my little hack and how I know where to apply the product. You can build this up also if you want a little bit of cheekbones, apply a little bit more. But I like to just add just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a dimension. Next, I'm going to go in with the Lash Princess Mascara. This is Essence Best Selling Mascara and I know exactly why. This is my favorite mascara from Essence because it gives that elongation but it also gives me a little bit of a curl because I have really straight lashes. So I can see why this is my favorite and all of your favorite. As you can see, it gives me that length, it gives me that lift. But it also doesn't clump too much, which I really like. Look at that. I have lashes, guys. I have lashes. I never, I never used to apply mascara on the bottom of my eyes, but it makes such a difference. If you are not doing it, please do it because it really just opens up my eyes so much. We're almost done, but we cannot forget the lippies. So I'm not quite sure which one to go for. These are my go-tos. I love myself a clear gloss, but sometimes I'm feeling a little bit of, you know, feeling a little bit extra. So I think today I'm feeling a little extra. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. This color is very close to my lip color. So it just accentuates my lips and gives you that no makeup makeup look. Because the color is very close to my natural lip color, it just enhances my lips, which I love. Doesn't do too much, but just enough. So we are done with the makeup look, the clean girl aesthetic makeup look with acne, might I say. I just wanna let you know that even if you're a little bit insecure about your skin, you can still rock this look, girl. You don't need to have clear glass skin to rock this look, look at me. <laughs> so yeah, all the product information is down below and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye.